Hi there. I would like to present to you on how to develop Excel in solving problems using the Pareto analysis, or sometimes we call it 80-20. This Excel analysis training is an excerpt of my problem solving and decision making training. Pareto analysis is a simple decision making technique assessing problems. This gives you ideas in coming up with solutions that will provide the most benefit. Like if you are having problems in manufacturing or having problems in terms of production issues or experiencing product defects. This analytical tool can be utilized for any problems in any industry which has similar issues that needs solving. This example I'm giving to you right now will be analyzed using Excel. We will analyze defects in production or battle use and will identify the biggest issues that contributes most of the problems. Pareto analysis, also known as the 80-20 rule, which is 80% of the problems can be traced to 20% of causes. This tool has several benefits. This includes identifying and prioritizing problems and tasks, improving productivity or improving profitability. Okay, what we're going to do now is we're going to start doing our analysis. Okay, um, we're going to write down the production defect analysis. using the uh, Pareto analysis or the 80-20 rule. The title would be production of one, let's say one liter, one liter of bottle juice. Okay, you got it. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to uh, identify the issues in the production Okay, most of the uh, most of the product rejects that we encountered when we are producing this type of products. Okay, what are those defects? Example, um, maybe underfilling, underfilling, or it's a, just say underfill of bottle. Perhaps overfill, overfilling, overfill of bottles. What else? Discoloration. Discoloration of the maybe bottle or or the content could be like that. Okay. Perhaps loose label. You're having a problems of loose label in some of your product uh, that has it's going to be addressed uh, wrong code wrong code okay what else there are also problems like pinhole pinhole all right and i missed the o pinhole okay what else could be that the bottle is distorted, like distortion, distortion of bottle, or maybe the bottle is bulging, 
There's birds in the battle, bulging, bulging battles. So you don't have to write the battle, just write down the bulging. That would be enough. And then we'll be leaking cap. Leaking cap. Or what else? Loose cap. Okay. Loose cap is different from the leaking cap. Or even wrong cap. Wrong cap. You know some some SKU uh, safety unit. Uh, they're they're having red colors in it, or blue or other colors. But maybe you instead of uh, using blue, you one of the caps that being utilized are red, so that would be a wrong cap in one particular SKU or safety pin unit. So wrong cap, maybe wrong content. Okay. Maybe uh, perhaps we're we're producing mango juice, one liter mango juice, but some of the bottles were filled with the banana juice or strawberry juice, so that would be wrong content. Okay, let me think of other things like object also foreign object, foreign object. What else? Maybe that that's enough. Okay, uh, unclear, unclear, string code. Okay. Okay, I think that would be enough to to have a picture of what we're looking at when we were doing. Uh, okay, when we're doing analysis of the production of the one liter bottle juice. Okay, we forgot the title by the way of this. So we just put an insert. Then we put product defects as our title of this category, product defects. Okay. Okay, now we have the category in terms of the product defects, which is the underfair or welfare discoloration, loose level, and others. Okay, now what we're going to do, the next step would be uh, finding the numbers of the, the uh, defect. That's very important because this is what we're going to an analyze anyway, number of defects. Okay, so right now we're going to think of numbers because we don't have actual numbers, you know, from the production, okay. So most of the most of the guys doing uh, analysis in manufacturing are do are called statisticians, uh, working on numbers uh, in terms of number of defects. So what we what I'm going to do is going I'm going to uh, okay just use the formula random numbers, okay, random numbers. Or you can use run between, run between. Then you have to put the bottom numbers and the top numbers, so the lowest and the highest numbers, and run in be run between. Okay, let's say twenty, the lowest numbers, bottom numbers, and one thousand. Okay, that would be enough. Thousand numbers. Okay, enter. Now we have one hundred seventy-four random numbers okay what you do is i'm going to drag it down to get more numbers okay so we have formula in this so i'm going to remove the formula because when we're doing the rest of the analysis the rest of the data this number will keep on changing so i'm going to fix it fix the numbers so what i'll do is i'll copy it then Paste, paste, I'll then just put the value. So no more formula in those numbers. Okay. Okay. Next thing is we're going to 
uh, sort these numbers uh, because we're analyzing from the biggest, you know, the biggest numbers of defects to the lowest, num the smallest number. So we're going to sort it from the largest to the smallest number. Okay. Now we have the num largest number of 862 and the smallest number of 53 already sorted out. Okay. In order for us to get the percentage of this uh, number of defects, I'm going to uh, do cumulative, 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 okay, of these numbers, cumulative, so that we can calculate the percentage, all right? What you do is you just move this first one under fill under the cumulative, okay? Then for the next one, you just add the 862 of cumulative to the 749 of unclear print code, right? So that's it, simple as that, okay? To get the cumulative, the rest of the numbers, you just drag it down, okay? Okay, uh, we need total. The total would be our divisor when we're calculating the percentage, so total. So we're going to put the total, uh, just use the auto sum, and then click again, and then you have the total now, all right? Okay, the next one would be, now we're going to get our percentage. Percentage. Okay, percentage, all right? So percentage of the cumulative numbers uh, divided by the uh, the total of the number of defects. So, okay, these are our variables, uh, dividends. And this would be our divisor. So what we're going to do is that uh, only one divisor. So we're going to fix that. But before that, I'm going to get the, the uh, calculations of the percentage. So what we're going to do is we're going to get this first cumulative number divided by the total numbers of defects, okay? So I said we have uh, variable cumulative numbers, our dividend, and uh, our divisor is only one, which is the total. So we're going to fix that number. How are we going to fix that number? Okay, you just click the F4 on your uh, keyboard before then you get this dollar sign then you close that calculation then multiply by 100 to get bigger number okay now it shows decimal places so we're going to remove this decimal points we don't need them okay in doing our analysis all right so what we do is we're going to just drag it down again then okay the, the bottom is 100 percent that would be the 6547 over 6547 number of defects, okay? So that's it. And then the next thing we're going to do is we're going to now to, we're now going to create the graph in order for us to complete our analysis. Because when you're looking at these numbers, okay, you find it not easy to analyze really but if you translate it to graph, it would be much, much easier to analyze. So that's what we're going to do now. Going to get the column, use the first one, right? We got the graph now, okay? Move it here so, they, so we can still see the, the data. Okay, to look for this one to, go, to look good, we're going to move this down. Just go to the layout, legend at the bottom. Here, bottom, okay, okay. And then uh, we don't actually need the cumulative for our uh, analysis. So we just delete that, okay. And then uh, really to get uh, a very nice picture of the analysis to really understand more the analysis, we're going to change also the, the type of graph on the percentage. So we just go to the design and then click the change chart type and then change it to line graph. That will be the line graph that I'm going to use. 
And the last one would be uh, format the data series and get the secondary access for the line graph. Then you have the secondary access. Okay. Okay. You can also put actually put the uh, labels on the data labels on the in this graph just put it in the center now we have the great data graph for the line graph and also for the bar chart uh, bar chart data labels put it inside base okay inside base got it and we're going to put title on this one so the title title chart centered overlay inside the, the chart we're going to the type product defect i'm writing on the formula bar defect analysis okay you get your title you just enter then you get the title all right so actually you can you can uh, copy paste this into your presentation a uh, powerpoint if you are presenting in in maybe you are attending some meetings and you want to present this in the meeting so you just copy paste this to the powerpoint or you can also move this chart to another sheet you no know? move chart and say move it to, to sheet two Okay, okay, here, here it is more uh, easy to understand because we can make it bigger for you to be, for it to be clear, more clearer, okay? And unlike the sheet one is you're having the data, so you don't need the data anymore because you're analyzing the graph. Now, as you can see here, 20% of the problems all of this all of these are problems the the bar chart you see the 862 this is number of bottles uh 749 number of bottles no underfill the first problem is underfill and the second one is unclear print code now you are able to solve if you are able to solve the 20 percent of the problems of on production of this use uh you are you are already solving 80% of the problem in terms of number of defects. So that is how we we uh, we we analyze the the number of defects by solving the majority of the defects in terms of number of defects. Okay. As soon as you uh, okay, you're going to you're going to put action put in place action plan. Okay, and be able to get rid of this underfill and unclear print code. And as soon as you remove this, maybe the other other problems are this. You also identify the the uh, twenty percent of the problem. Okay, by by uh, identifying those and getting rid of this problem, you are able to solve eighty percent of the issues, which is the number of defect issues. Okay. That's how you how you do it, right? So I think more or less you understand now how to analyze the the, the problem uh, using the Pareto analysis or the 80-20 rule. It can also be utilized to any kinds of problems. It's easy to understand, easy to analyze, easy to use. Okay, that's it for now. Thank you.